Welcome back, everyone. Oh, let me change, change the time here a little bit. Um, okay. Another new episode. Uh, chickens are out of food. I gotta get on that today. The good news is we actually have a sorghum field that's ready to harvest. I managed to re-pick up all of the straw bales and uh, they're ready to unload, but I got thinking, I think I want to build a shed uh, specifically for bales, be able to store all this. So we're going to do that right now, right now. First thing, we got two other major purchases to make. We have 262,000 from overnight. Um, all right, let's go. Construction, uh, under silos. I already looked this up. We're going to keep with the red theme a little bit. Uh, I just want to get one of these, 10,000. I want to put it uh, just over here. I think that'll be a good place for it. Uh, we could actually move it out a bit, couldn't we? Uh, yeah, let's optimize our space. There we go. Uh, what do I get? I don't know, I'm fussy about angles. Come on, mouse. There we go. No, I think I want to move it back a bit. Okay. There we go. So we've got a special bale shed. And I'll turn on the... Let me turn on saving content. Um, turn on these guys again. We just drop off the bales. They get all stacked nicely. And then we pull out what we want when we want. So I'm going to do that. And I did some mowing off camera and made some silage bales. And today we are going to buy uh, a new seed drill. And uh, we are also going to pick up a... Um, what's the best way for me to do this? Like this, I think. Um, we're going to buy another piece of land. And really, we need equipment more than anything right now. But I need the land to make hay. Um, I've got some straw. I've got some silage bales that are ready to go. And I want to make hay immediately so we can get our cows going. So um, here we go. Unload. I think I can do it like this. I hope I can do it like this. Back up a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Now if we have a look in here, we've got some straw bales. We got 12 round bales, 11,000 liters each. Let's turn that off. Uh, let's go get our seed drill. Uh, I've got one picked out. And we're, we're getting to business, right down to business today. Um, got a bunch of stuff I want to do. Uh, I, have, I know which field I'm going to buy. Start my engine. I'll use this to go get the seed drill. This is not probably going to be the last seed drill we buy, uh, but it'll do us for now. I had a bit of debating going on, internal debating going on as to whether... Um, I want it to go big right away with the seed drill, whether I want it one that fertilizes, direct drill, all that, and came down to what let's do an interim thing. We'll get we're gonna get a multifunction. It's gonna it's gonna be a direct drill and uh, we'll fertilize and that'll keep us for a little while. Um, as our fields get bigger, they will get huge, by the way. Uh, we'll start to invest in some really big equipment, but I need, I need to be able to pull it, right? Um, to power it, and I just don't have money to be buying huge tractors right now. Money will come, though. I mean, it's flowing pretty nicely as it is. Okay, uh, what am I doing? I have to go visit the nice lady. How are you guys doing today? Oops, no standing on the desk. Smokey's Black Book. Interesting. 
Um, okay, so we want to see drill, and I picked out this guy. We're going to go with this guy. It's six meters only, uh, but it is direct, and it fertilizes. And I was debating between this one and going all the way back uh, to this one. Um, you know, basically it's the same thing. Um, this one's 210. Now I'm thinking about it. I'm wondering why did I choose that? This one's a lot cheaper. 210. What's this one? Does this have a lower 200? It doesn't really make a difference, does it? Why would I, uh, 5,100 liters. What does this guy hold? Maybe that's the difference, 4,000. Okay, so that's that's kind of the difference there. Um, it's a huge price difference though. I think I'll go with this one. What's this? This is 270. I could pull this. This is six meters as well. And I don't really know. Oh, you know what? Let's just do this for now. Let's just do this, 109,000. I can pull that with all of my tractors, I think. Well, maybe not the Stara. But I can definitely pull it with this one. All right. To get this going right away, um, we got a big field to drill. Could have brought the other one to sell it, but maybe we'll just hang on to it. It's not worth much anyway. We got some bales to pick up. You'll see them start appearing in the distance. There they are. We got a field to expand. We've got some hay to take care of. I'm going to do a little bit of the hay right away, uh, but I'll probably finish it off camera. Uh, but I want to get I want to get cows today. So let's get this topped up and we'll get it get it going. I was gonna fertilize that field and then I realized, you know what? Why don't I just just do it all together? Uh can I refill? I'm gonna open that, start filling. That is seed. So we've got 1,600 liters of seed, and we'll come over here and get some fertilizer. Okay, all set, close the hatch. Now I think I, I actually think I want to change tractors for this. Uh, this one here will pull it, uh, but it's right on the edge. So I think what I want to do is focus this to doing other things like, hey, still have to do this again. So I'm just going to back this up. Okay, let's go get our other tractor. Where is it? Oh, and I need one to pick up bales too. Good news, I think all of them can pick up bales. So I am going to throw this. I'll bring it right over there because we have to get through there anyway. We'll pick up those bales. Now I think I want a road through here. Not sure yet. We're going to keep our eye on the used market. Uh, for equipment. Uh, we're going to need a lot more real soon. Come yeah, on. There we go. Okay. So what are we putting in here? Um, what are we? It's January right now. So I think I want to put in some canola. We have to start making money from our crops. Um, you know, just selling. Instead of using it all, 
open. I want two. I want, uh, I'm going to go with three and I'm going to do sharp and a uh, circle. There we go. I think that's going to give us our best result. Back up a little bit and canola. I'll set. You bet. Whoa, where are you going? I know what's happening. Uh, temporary course. I use this for creating fields. Um, I want to start from the headland. There we go. That should be better. Off we go. Now some of this has already been pre, um, you know, it's an existing field, but some of it is an extension, so it's going to be fully fertilized. All right. Um, before, why don't I do this right away? Am I full here? Yeah. Get these topped up again. Pretty important. And there we go. Will we have enough to do? Oh no. Always short on the seed. Oh wow. Let's go top up again. I might want to get a bigger one of these. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Seed. And pipe in. I'm getting the hang of it. Totally getting the hang of it. And I'll top them up later. I'll top this up later. Probably need like a little shed right here. I don't know if there's something that small that I could get that would fit right in there. It would be perfect, wouldn't it? Alright, let's go get some bales. Yeah, that's a big field, isn't it? I'm questioning my size selection for seed drill already. We're going to need more tractors as well. Uh, operating position. Yeah, so I mowed this whole area up here. I did not mow this part there, so we might get to that today. Let's get all these picked up and put away. Then we can extend our field. Oh, there's so much stuff to do. Gotta harvest that. I didn't count to see how many how many bales I created. Probably around 20, 20 ish. Maybe a bit more. So, if you if you if you all watch y'all, um, I'm not from the south. I don't know why I just said that. Um, 
if you if you watch all my series, uh, I assume some of you might, and some of you might just have a preferred series. Just watch that one, which is all good. Um, by now, by the time you're watching this one, you should know what happened in the Balkanska Pharma uh, series. It's done. We're done. And um, time to move on to something else. Uh, we definitely have one on deck. I'm not sure exactly when it's going to start, though. I'm not sure. I'm trying to time, time some things out. Um, I want to... I need a I need a free spot I guess we'll call it uh, for Silanka, which is the uh, premium expansion map that's going to come out soon. Definitely going to cover that, and um, and then I have uh, a new map that I want to run as well, uh, Karovara. Uh, we're going back to Finland, guys. We're going back to Finland. Uh, we're going to do some forestry, uh, but we are not uh, going to do it at all the same way that we did in the Corpy series. Oh, is this all going to fit? Oh no, I think I'm going to be just needing one more. Oh no, maybe two more. One, two, yeah. I'll have to come back and pick up two. That's a good haul though. Yeah, we're going to be doing a bit of forestry, but it's going to be mixed uh, with arable and animals, livestock, and, and whatnot. Um, we'll keep forestry uh, at bay this time. Last, oops, what am I doing? Um, yeah, Corpy got out of hand real quick, didn't it? Okay. Uh, this tractor can pull this, but it's a little sluggish. I need some fuel soon. Need a need a fuel station around here. I love this map, but I I don't like that you have to keep going up to the bot down to the bottom of the map for everything. Um, I like you know I'd like things to be dispersed a little bit, <laughs> with a little variety in the driving, you know. Now I have done a little bit more work off camera with decorations up by the beach. Maybe we'll take a spin up there later. I uh, have to check out. We're going to put some stuff in the warehouse today. We're all ready to go with that. I'm eventually going to be putting fencing around a lot of this. Um, protect our, our area. It's kind of strange, our farm kind of sits with the main road running between. Um, yeah, I probably should have done that a little bit differently, but this is okay. This is okay. Okay, let's get these unloaded. We'll go pick up the other two bales. And that'll be that task done. Now, these are still grass, I think. Um... So they're going to take some time to ferment. I wanted to get this done before the hay, because the hay is kind of instant. Oh, that's another thing. I'm going to need to buy a tether. I don't have one. All right. I'm going to put this right here for now. It's a terrible place, but... Um... Oh, no, no. What am I doing? What am I doing? I need to go get those other two bales. Let me go get them real quick. Okay, operating position. Get these last two our cultivators out there in the field. It's ready. To, it's ready to go. We got to make a, a field extension here. We should probably start that up next. Yeah, I really do want a road through here. I'm probably going to have to take down a tree or two to make that happen. This side is not, not a problem, uh, but that rock is in the way, so I think I need to go this way. So this big tree here might have to go. Maybe 
Maybe one or two more. We'll see. Um, some of the decorating that I did was over by the beach again. And uh, I got, it's January. It's January and I'm working on beach stuff. Uh, <laughs> kind of funny. Okay, let's get rid of these guys. Interesting how that that bends. Okay. All right, I'm actually going to put this right over here. We're going to need something to mix TMR. Um, I haven't really figured out how I want to do that yet. Let's set the outline of our field. I can sneak by with just a small tractor, no problem. I mean, I guess I could take back some of the uh, fields, but I don't really want to do that. Where is it? There it is. Now we do have another grass field that's in the, you know, that we set up over there. And we could certainly use that for hay, uh, but I don't think it's quite ready yet. So, all right, let's start over here. Just gonna do an extension. Uh, allow create fields. And we're gonna go right through here. We'll get course play to make this field for us. But we need to do the perimeter. There's a way to do it. There's a way to create a custom custom field and um, have it carve it out for you. But I've struggled trying to f make it work. I I've had it working, but I've, I've struggled to make it work consistently. Sometimes it seems like it's a an unstable feature. Uh, 150,000 still, so I don't know what we're going to sell today. Uh, we may not sell much. I think we probably, I mean, I mean you know, the, some of the greenhouses auto sell, so that's definitely going to be continue happening. Uh, but I think uh, what we're really going to do is um, we're going to put some stuff in the storage. I just have to check uh, the tomatoes. And uh, what else am I growing? Strawberries and tomatoes? Um, I gotta check when the peak time is. I don't think it's now. I think it's in the fall for some reason, but I could be wrong. We have our flour, flour mill that is churning out flour like crazy. Uh, the bakery's full. Um, there's no more room for any more flour. The bakery is not fast. So I may in the future possibly look into i think there's a mod that's an industrial bakery that um puts out stuff at a faster clip but yeah i'm not sure but i may need to figure out other things to do with flour i was thinking of maybe uh wouldn't it be great to have like a pizzeria nearby i think there's a mod that does that make some pizza maybe a donut shop Starting to get hungry. Got up this morning, had a couple of cups of coffee, and uh, as I'm recording this and talking about the food, I'm starting to get hungry. Didn't have breakfast. Okay. All right. Uh, let's lift that up. We'll get course play to.
design something for us. We're going to create. Yeah, picked it up. OK, so we're going to start center. We're going to do two. We're going to do it smooth. Um, and uh, no bypass. Perfect. OK, uh, I need to go to where is it? Where is it? Um, there it is. There we go. All right. Off you go. First waypoint. Go. I don't know why it went that far over. I guess, yeah, okay. All right, next. What's this guy doing? Plugging away? Good stuff. Um, I guess let's get our sorghum going. Now this is least of this harvester. Um, I am going to be hanging on to this for a little bit until we're ready to buy a big, big, big harvester. This is just a stopgap. Let's get our sorghum up. I will need a bigger trailer. Um, yeah, not sure yet. I have to keep remembering crop destruction. Okay, let's get this course set up. Course to standard stuff. This doesn't really change, ever change much. Okay. This little guy's got some work to do. Let's put this fertilizer away for now. Um, where do I want to put this? Let's put it over here. We're going to need a bigger fertilizer as well. Fertilizer spreader. Um, next. Next, let's load up. I want to pick up stuff um, that we have to put in a warehouse. Actually, let's have a look real quick. Uh, best selling time for tomatoes is actually now. Strawberries is now. Ah. Okay, I wanted to get our, I really wanted to get our uh, warehouse going. These are all ready to sell right now, so. Okay, I gotta sell them. I have to. No point saving them for a whole year. I thought this was the fall for some reason. And what about bread? Let's have a look at bread. Bread is up here somewhere. There it is. It's also now. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> no, no warehousing yet. We'll grab it up. We'll go sell everything. I don't know how many we have here. Um, that's it. That's it. Yeah, this this bakery does not put out stuff very quickly. 
and eggs for sure i know are um, in the fall so we won't pick those up we do have to feed them but we've got to wait till we get some sorghum up we'll feed them with that Uh, where am I selling? I'm just blindly going. Uh, 53 is the farm shop. That's much better price, isn't it? And uh, 17. And uh, this is always the ice cream cart selling. Always the best price for strawberries. So let's go sell the strawberries at the ice cream cart and we'll head back up to the farm shop for the others. It's a significant enough difference. Uh, and while we're here, why don't we have a look at some changes? There's a few new trees here in this little island. And uh, we've done put in some more trees. Let's have, let's have a look around. So we put in some lighting here. I still have to do some on the other side of the parking lot. We got a few more trees up here. Put in some garbage cans so people don't litter too much. Get some chairs. Yeah, and uh, yeah, here's the uh, sunglasses and a hat and some flip flops for my friend at uh, NJN Farms. You just need to bring your baggies. And most importantly, these guys. Um, we did put in a couple of barbecues, grills, whatever you want to call them, or garbage cans, more lighting. And uh, people have started showing up. I mean, their cars have. I wish there was a way to put people in here. But uh, so be it. A couple of puddles. Put in some puddles, guys. We can jump in them. Yeah, anyways, I'm such a kid sometimes. Here's a bike. Put in a bike with a with a sup. Is that a sup or is that a surfboard? I think it's a surfboard. All right, let's sell some strawberries. Ugh, I don't like backing up this trailer. It's got those turning wheels. There we go. 7,500. Let's go sell the other stuff up at the at the shop. By the time we get back... Uh, oh my goodness, the New Holland is full already. It'll have to wait. The glorious, glorious January. I don't know what the temperature is. I even got the air balloon up. I forget if this is the map um, that has occasional airplanes going by. I don't remember seeing one. that looking from over here looks pretty good looks pretty good i do have the next field picked out um we'll get to that in a little bit um i just realized that i did in the last episode ask the question which field should i buy next and i'm recording this before that episode comes out so um yeah, I guess the real question will be, what's the next, next episode? There we go. 17,000. Big difference. The bread really, uh, it's good money. Good money. This guy is not very fast. Look at the used market while we're here. Oh, uh, yeah. How much is that? What? Actually, this might be interesting. 
Then go right up to 34 with this. Whoa. Stay on the road. 34. That might actually really be good. How much do they want for that? 41,000. Hmm. Hmm. Got to think about that one for a minute. Eventually, 34 is going to be too small, but for now, it might be perfect. Um, eggs. I really wanted to get that forklift going. I did uh, try out the forklift uh, off camera. That's it. It's not much, but we'll be able to just go through that first motion, I guess. Although the egg should be going into the bakery, now that I think of it. Oof. Yeah, we're not ready to make stuff with in the bakery, so let's put it away. I mean, just because we put it in a warehouse doesn't mean we have to bring it uh, to the, the cell later. It can be in the warehouse for storage for the bakery. Yeah. Okay, so I want to unload... Uh, how does this go? There's a way for me to unload this. Um, where's my menu? Tip side left. Unload here. Okay. This is what I plan on doing. So I'm going to... Oops. I'm going to just drop stuff off there. I'm going to come out and get it. I'll do that in a second. I just want to uh, put this away and get a trailer out to unload the unload the uh, harvester. <laughs> so I guess if we're trying to make some quick hay to get the cows, where am I going? Oh my goodness. Yeah, let's cheat. I'm just going to put it here for now. I should put it away properly, but... Uh, where's my trailer? It's in here. This is probably... How big is this thing? You know what? I forgot I had this. I don't think I need that other that other trailer yet. We'll feed the chickens right away. I forget how much this holds. There's actually a bigger version of this trailer as well, which I really, I really like this trailer. Um, I don't know why. I think this one is 14,000. But yeah, the other one would be a huge upgrade. The other one's only good for grain, grain crops, though. Oh, this little kid is struggling. Go feed the chicken, bring this back, and then we're going to get our uh, eggs put into the, the warehouse. I want the chickens to die. I forget what I have in my silo. I might have food for them in there, now that I think of it. What are these guys doing? Let's check in on them. Check in on them. 
Let me have, oh, this will hold a ton. Wow, okay. All right. At least they're not starving now. Get this over near the field again. It's ready to go. Okay, good enough for now. The good news is I think that field creation over there, or field extension, I guess we'll call it, uh, that should be ready just in time for when this guy's finished here. And um, then we'll be able to transfer the drill over there and put something else in. Okay. Open the door. Now the way this works is, I did put something in here. If you go over here. Oh. Oh no, I didn't. I tested and I, I didn't save. Um, I just wanted to see how it worked. I went and grabbed a couple of pallets, but then I realized uh, I didn't actually hit the save button. So. Let's grab up a pallet. We can pick up more than one pallet at a time, but all I have to do is drive over right here. And it stores it. Now if I go in here, I see there's one pallet of eggs in there. Let me get this one. I'll show you how it gets retrieved. Yeah. No comments, please. There's only 17 eggs in there. There we go. I should have a pallet of 14 and a pallet of 16. So if I run over here, I hit the R key. Um, it shows me the two pallets that I have. I could unload it. It comes out right there. It is actually a. I wish it was. It would put them out a little bit more further out. Uh, it is a little bit tricky to get into the corner sometimes, but it works. There we go. Actually, I remember why I tried it. Um, I, I wanted to create a thumbnail for this for this episode, so. But then I could put it into the truck. I can just drive right into the truck, put it in there, or I can just drive over here again, and it'll take it again. So that's how that works. All right, our eggs are stored. They're refrigerated back there and everything, so you don't need to worry about it. Um, people in the back of the warehouse get everything sorted out. All right, what's next? Uh, we need TMR. So how are we going to do TMR? I think, um, we should make some kind of mixer. TMR mixer of some kind. And I think what I'd like to do, I'm just thinking out loud right now because I hadn't really thought this through. What if I put one up somewhere over here? There's one that I've seen that, that, that I like. Um, well, seems interesting. I haven't really tried it yet. Um, it is in productions. These guys here. Ooh, they're not cheap. Uh, 240. I think I only need this much. 
So I think I just put bales in there. I don't know where I want this. Maybe I should put it right like here. Um, wouldn't I like to be able to back up? Of course, right? Of course, if I put it here, this my trailer's in the way. Um, 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 uh, where should I put, guys? I don't want it too far away from the. You know what? Let's put it here. I'm gonna put it here. If I don't like it, I can move it. Move it out a little bit. Yeah, that should do. 50,000. Wow. Okay. Well, I'm just going to leave this here. So... Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Forage. So, um, silage, hay, straw, 2000. I will activate it even though I don't have anything in there right now. All right, so that's that solution. Um, there's actually storage here for, you can put bales, I guess. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. We're probably going to need uh, maybe a telehandler here might be good. Either a telehandler or a um, wheel loader. We'll take care. Move all the bales over. Create the TMR. Yeah. Thinking. Okay, we're mostly done. Well, we need to unload. We need to unload. Did I pick up um, that other trailer? The auger, auger wagon, I guess it is. Oh, we have to buy the land. We have to buy the land. I need to buy that. Must buy that. Almost forgot about that. Okay. I think we're going to be... I'm going to pull up a little bit here. Okay, I think we're going to be good here. Let's buy some land. Um, map, here's what I want to do. I want to, um, okay, I want a farmland. I want this piece here. And the main reason for it is I want to extend this field out. Um, next time we harvest, we're going to extend this out. Um, we're going to extend this one out a little bit to here, just a bit more. And then this one will go right over. That'll be one one big field. Um, that buys us some more space over here and uh, more road road access allows us to create our our full loop of our road. So we're just gonna go ahead and buy that right away. Eighty five thousand. How much money do we have left? We have fifty seven thousand left. And since I'm not too worried about money in this series, um, you know, all I have to do is sleep and I have almost 300,000. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and buy, get this deal. Uh, this is normally a um, much bigger price. So it comes in 28. Um, if I extend it to 34, how much more is that? That's 50,000. Should I do that? Go right for 34. Agricultural Convoy. What is that? I don't know what that is. Is that visual? Uh, 
I don't see any change. Anybody seeing any change? Oh, it's just a, uh, okay. Blech. Ooh, what's this? It's a forage header. Okay. All right, we bought a trailer. So, um, just over here, I re run over here. I'm probably going to do this off camera. Um, so just over here, we're going to mow all this and, and, uh, oh, that's what I needed. I needed a better. Uh, now I don't have the money for it. Uh, yeah, probably what we'll do is we'll mow it off camera and move ahead. Um, move ahead and then we'll have money for, for a tether. Um, yeah, this tree's got to go, so we're going to delete that. And is there any more in this section that I need to delete? Yeah, there's one there. I think that's it. Uh, what about these guys? Yeah, they need to go as well. Yeah, I think we're good. This is where our road is. Actually, why don't we do that right now? And, uh, painting dirt. Oh, I'm standing in it. Um, we need a round. And there we go. Back up a little bit more. It kind of goes off that way. I don't know how much further up we can go. We can go for a while. Okay, that's the end there. Now this here, yeah, this goes over to a farm. It's not owned by me, but let's put it in a road anyway. Well, it's not really a farm. It's just a, there we go. How far over can I go? Okay, that's the end of it. So if you play new player, this there's actually an, an orchard um, grapes, I think there vineyard, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so that's done. Sorry, I'm jumping back over here. Oh, I paved that, didn't I? Why did I do dirt? Um, let me pave. All the way to the junction. Yeah, we'll just pave up to the junction. We'll leave a dirt road there. Okay. How's it look? All right, all right. On a second to last lap with this guy. This guy's almost done. Chickens have food. 
next episode will be cows. Um, we're going to definitely dive deep into that, get our, get our cows, start making our TMR. Um, and then we have to start considering um, where we're going next after that. I mean, the main reason to get the cows is so that we can have some milk um, and be able to make uh, products at the bakery and whatnot. So that'll be good. We're going to buy adult cows um, right away. So the milk, we mark milk starts flowing right away. Yeah, in real life, um, cows, well, in natural cows, uh, cow handling, um, the cows that they have to be in milk, meaning um, uh, they have to have had uh, calves and, and and reproduced, and, that, and then they produce milk when they go through that process. In modern industrial dairy farming, um, the cows are actually um, I want to say sustained by artificial means, uh, meaning they're kept in milk uh, through a variety of different you know, techniques, including uh, drugs, which is kind of lame in a way, but it is what it is. I mean, um, a lot of the stuff that we do as human beings are... Um, less than favorable to animals uh, we do it for our both selfish needs but also from our sustainability needs there are some things that we that we need um, there are other things that we like those are two different categories but yeah I prefer gen the natural stuff uh, we don't have milk on my homestead because, A, it's not big enough to sustain cows. Um, and the only way to sustain cows would be through on this small piece of land would be to, to have um, uh, all artificial food, um, you know, feed, uh, purchased feed and uh, very little room for it to free range and, and organically feed itself. Um, so we don't do that. Um, also, we're not allowed. Uh, their bylaws here prohibit us from having an animal that big. Although, to be quite honest, I don't think anybody around where I live would have a problem with it. Um, you know, the the farmer that lives around us, literally um, all around us, uh, our property, is. Um, a dairy farmer, uh, not uh, sorry, not a dairy farmer. He does um, beef, uh, meat, uh, pork, and beef, and chickens. So he's already told us he wouldn't care. <laughs> so all it takes is one for one person. Unfortunately, we live on a on a lane that that uh, cottagers go by, and all as it takes is one. A city person that thinks it's a good idea to make a comment to the uh yeah sorry i'm going all negative here anyways um it is what it is um we're okay we i, I don't want i don't actually drink milk but we could certainly use butter and and different things my wife uh, enjoys kefir and um a variety of other dairy products Okay, where are we? Let's let's get this going. We're coming up on the hour here. Um, yeah, I think I'm keeping this to an hour. So this is all nicely drilled now. We've got canola. Oh, I need to top up before I start the next field. Um. Did a good job. I'm happy with the seed drill. Seemed to cover most everything. Maybe a couple of little missed spots, but that's okay. Open that up. Refill.
I think this seed drill is going to work out well. Quite a while. I mean, that's a fairly big field, but it... Well, it's not that big, but... Um, it didn't take too long. It's going to be busy. It's going to be busy because this field needs to be drilled again after as well. going to be starting over here somewhere. Okay, I'm going to stop that. I'm, I'm going to get that going. Um, maybe off camera, maybe not. Uh, this guy should be almost be finished. I think he actually ends over there. If I'm not mistaken. Are you ending yet? Yep. Yep, 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 yep. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. If you're enjoying this, please consider subscribing. I'll catch you in the next episode. And uh, don't forget, new series starting soon. I hope, you, I hope it's something yeah, that you enjoy. Um, yeah, have a great day.